What is good, you tubians? It is a rainy, rainy day today, so I am here in this beautiful pavilion because it's covered and the ground isn't wet here. I think today's video is gonna be just straight up, I don't know if persistence is the right word. Basically, I'm trying to get my heel flips back. When I first started skating, I actually had heel flips a lot better than I did kick flips. It took me a while to get kick flips down and like looking semi-decent. My heel flips were almost like naturally really good, I guess. They like popped high, they leveled out, and now I can barely do a heel flip at all. So I decided that I'm literally just gonna take a day to just come out here and just do kick flip. I mean, no. Heel flip after 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 heel flip, after heel flip until I get these back because uh, it's kind of a bummer that I lost them. They're kind of like a fundamental trick and I wanna have them in the bag. So that is gonna be the video. Pretty much me just doing a buttload of heel flips. So enjoy. Try to get one more before I call it. All right, my friends, that is gonna be it. It was not incredibly successful, but I was a but I was able to land three heel flips today, which is kind of a win because it's been a while since I've landed any of them. Towards the end, I did start to figure out a few things. For one, I need to have a little more speed than I 
normally do when I'm trying to figure out a trick. I was landing in front of the board a lot, which usually means I needed to lean back. But when I did lean back, I couldn't figure out the weight to make it actually do the heel flip. So I found that when I have a little extra speed, it just helps me stay squared over the board and it helps it land under me a little bit better. I also played around a lot with the foot placement and I think I found something that's working for me. It's kind of like right below the bolts, like right, right there, like right on that bottom bolt line with my toes hanging off the edge just a little bit. And another thing is, is really to try to think of it like an ollie, like ollie up and then kick your foot out as opposed to like its own little separate trick. That kind of helped my brain understand it a little better. So I will definitely be back out here working on these heel flips again because I really want to get them on lock. This was actually really good practice. And even though I only landed three of them, it felt like I accomplished a lot. I'm tired and I'm sweating and I haven't eaten anything. So it's time to skedaddle. So I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you for watching another one of my videos. Sending you all mad love and positive vibes. Peace.